Hi, today I wanted to talk to you about a movie I just saw called Out of the Furnace. And it was with Christian Bale. Uh, it was an excellent movie and it involved a DWI. So it was even more interesting to me. And what I was thinking about as I was watching the movie were defenses to this guy, Christian Bale, ended up going to state prison over it. I'm sorry to <laughs> tell you, I guess it's spoiler alert. Uh, but the movie was interesting because it kind of catapulted the characters into all their respective roles, this uh, taking somebody out of their normal course of life and thrusting them into this prison situation. Uh, it was a horrible DWI, uh, it was involved in an accident, and uh, it looked like they never really told you, but he killed people. He killed a child, uh, and he killed a mother driving a car, and uh, it's because he was distracted. Prior to him getting in the car, you saw him stop at the bar and drink a bunch of beers, but then he went back and he had a, had a shot on top of that. That's when I thought, you know, what's coming next, right? Whenever I see somebody and they have a shot on top of their beer right before they get into the car, you know they're going to be DWI or DW something. Anyway, with this particular case, uh, the airbag in his truck had gone off. And I was thinking about a defense. The, the defense I was thinking about in New York State is called the Tyndall defense, T-Y-N-D-A-L-L. -L. And the reason why I was thinking about this Tyndall defense is because the airbag has little pieces and particles in it. And when it goes off in your face, you can breathe some into your lungs. Uh, this is a real defense. And when you do a breath test after that, and I'm also assuming in this particular movie that they gave him a breath test that they didn't do a blood test. Uh, it would have been a blood test forget about the $10 defense. Because what it is is this, if you blow into the machine and you have particles or pieces of the airbag deployment inside your lungs, that dust can cause the breath test measurement or the breath test BAC to go up much higher. It's this thing to block the light inside the device, the breathalyzer device, from going from one side to the other and then register a much higher BAC number. So, of course, this is how my brain is working as I'm watching this movie thinking, well, did the lawyers even think of that? Did he take a breath test? Did he do a blood test? We didn't find out any of these things. And it was kind of, I wanted to know more. I wanted to know about that part of the movie. They just showed him go right from the accident right into the jail scenes. But this is what I was thinking about, this Tyndall defense. So if somebody has an accident, airbag gets deployed, the breath test, if they do a breath test, that's a defense in New York State. And that's one that may not just be in New York State, but other states as well. If you have questions about your DWI case, you can give me a call if it's in the Finger Lakes. This is the area that I handle. I'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for listening about my movie review. And sorry about the spoilers.